Right then, welcome to another video on the channel. YouTube is absolutely stuffed full of advice for how to play golf. But the one thing I think is missing is hit the damn fairway. Now, if you're a high handicapper who's struggling and you're hitting driver and you're getting into trouble all the time, don't ever underestimate the value of taking something a little smaller and hitting the fairway. That will really cut your scores. So let's go spank the ladyboy. You know, you, you might think I'm joking here, but I'm not. If you're a high handicapper using driver and you're spending your day in the trees, where's the fun in that? Where's the score in that? You take a club that you really trust. I bet the sun's right in the lens here. But if you take a club that you really trust, even if it's a six iron, you get it on this short grass. That'll make a huge difference to your score and your enjoyment on the day. So now we've found the fairway, I can use my next favourite club. Now for you, you may not wish to go right down this narrow channel up to the green. You could hit a seven iron short perhaps some alcohol or and gin? chip it on yeah. and hopefully put a little better than me. Why ladyboy? Well, it's not a wood and it's not an iron. And a ladyboy is not a woman and it's not a bloke. But out in Thailand, your hybrid is known as a katoy, a ladyboy. Now I'm splitting the rest of this hole up in two. First a pitching wedge, then a sand wedge. It's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. Three very average shots, I think you will agree. But if you're a high handicapper, 27, 28, this is stroke index 11. So you've got a shot on here. Can anyone tell me who's in that category of over a 20 handicap if I've done anything wrong here in negotiating this hole and not being in the trees. Really? I had it if I'd hit it. Stroke one, so you've got two shots right. And it's a difficult tee shot. Lots of trees left, a few trees right. And if you are out to the right, it's harder to hit the green. So we hit our favorite hybrid. We hit our favorite iron, and then we take it from there. This is a bit funny, isn't it? Film about hitting fairways, and I've been in the first cut twice. But I hope you see the value in this, the value of having a shorter shaft a more loft in your hand and a forgiving club. The value of not being in these trees, the value of not running up doubles and triples. This is what it's about when you're a high handicapper. So uh, never be afraid to spank the ladyboy. Talking of spanking, if you've chosen to use less than driver off the tee box because you want to hit the fairway, but don't hit it hard. You've already chosen to hit a short shot. So why would you then choose to try and knock the cover off the ball and waste it and spoil it? Once you've hit two shots Stay that there. and you haven't got into trouble, then the net birdie becomes relatively easy. Even if you chip Badly, like I did. Oh, 
and a straight back. Well, the last time I did something like this, I also got comments along the lines of, you're a five handicapper, of course you're going to hit fairway with your hybrid, of course you're going to hit greens with your six iron. And that's true. But I can't demonstrate it without actually doing it. You've got shots everywhere, you're 20 plus handicap. You'd have a stroke here. I don't. So I've got to hit this green in two. Or at least chip and putt. But I hope you get the idea. It's putting loft in your hand and a shorter shaft. It's hitting the short grass. You can't put a value on that. By all means, carry on. Keep taking your driver. Keep losing balls, going out of bounds, in the trees, double bogeys, triples. I'm an idiot. But on the other hand, you could give it a go. See what happens. <laughs> that is incredible. I'm saying spank the lady boy. <laughs> it's funny how being shorter off the tee and in the fairway gives you many more options for your second shot. That is a rather tight gap there. But because I'm hitting seven iron, I can hit it reasonably straight. And this green is big enough to take a seven iron into the green. Perhaps you'd want to take more for your second shot and get closer. The only thing certain today is that I'm putting like a ladyboy. Right, 467, stroke three, you've got two shots. Can you give me a reason why you should hit driver down here? So let's divide the remainder of this hole in two again and we'll take six iron and one of our wedges. Tell me you haven't been to the range in five weeks because you've been too busy without telling me that you haven't been to the range in five weeks. All that's left to do is to wedge it on and two putt and with your two strokes you've got your net birdie. Right, that's it guys. Never underestimate the value of hitting a fairway. Even if it's short, especially if you've got a load of shots. You know, it sure beats playing off this rather than playing out of that. Ta-ra.